Hello, welcome to the channel. Today I will show you how to create this simple model as a practical exercise. And you will use these dimensions here to create the model. So here we go to FreeCAD and we click in this icon to create a new file. And we change to part designer bench. Here create board and create sketch. This first sketch in XY plane. Okay, in this first sketch what we want to do is to create is to create this cylinder here. This cylinder has a diameter of 250 and the value of the pad will be 10 because here we have 200 and here 108. Okay, so come back to this sketch and now we select this cycle tool, click in this origin point. Okay, and now select this constraint here and constraint the diameter of this cycle to 250. Zoom out and now close the sketch. Press home and you'll see the sketch. And now what to do is to go to model and here select sketch and select this pad tool. Here I'll set a length of 10. So click OK. And now the next step is to select this space here and create a new sketch. In this sketch we will create, we'll create this cylinder here. This one. So here we see uh, we see a diameter of 125 for this for this wall here. Okay, so and we have this thickness. So the diameter of this the diameter of this cylinder will be 185. Okay, and the path will be 108. So we come back to this model here and we select the cycle tool. Click in this origin point and now go to this tool here. Click in this icon. Constrain the diameter of this cycle to 105. And now close this sketch. Okay, and go to pair tool. We know that the length of this pad is 108. So click OK. And the next step is to select this face and create on the sketch. In this sketch, what we want to do is to create the cylinder here. We know the pad is the value of the pad is 10. Okay, so what we want is the diameter of the cylinder. So here, so here we see a diameter of 200 for the cylinder. Okay, so come back to this model and here go to sketch jumpers and select the cycle tool. Click in this origin point. Okay, and now select this constraint and change the diameter here to 200. Enter and now close the sketch. And now we go to this pad tool and the length is 10. So click OK. Yes, and now we create a new sketch, the sketch in YZ plane. Switch to section view, click in this icon here, and you will see this. So here, what we want to do is to draw this line here, okay? So here we can see that this line have a length of 200. And we have this angle here and the distance between this origin point to, this end, to the end point of this line here is 65. So here we go to sketch geometry and we select this line tool. Click in this vertical line and draw this sketch here. And now we select this tool. We constrain the length of this line to 200. And now select this vertical distance tool and set the distance between these two points to 65. Okay, and now we select this angle tool and we constrain this. Okay, here we, okay, we are having this problem. So what to do here is to click in this icon and select this line tool. Click in the in this endpoint and draw this line here. Okay, and you can give a uh, dimension of a vertical dimension of okay maybe 120. Okay, so now select this angle tool. Click in this line and this line. So now I can say. 6. Okay, now it's correct. Okay, click in this icon again and now close the sketch. 
okay and now we create a new sketch can be in xy plane okay switch to second section view and here what we want to do is to create this cylinder here okay so in this section here we can see that the diameter of this cylinder is 100 is 100 and the value of the pad will be 200 okay so we select the circle tool clicking this origin point and here we see a diameter of 100 so clicking this constraint and we change this diameter to 100 and then we close this sketch okay and here we can see that the cylinder is uh, okay so what to do here is to select the sketch and right click on the mouse and go to attachment editor and here what we'll do is to attach this sketch to this line here so select this button and click here and here we select these flip sides okay and here we'll change the z duration to 200 and now you can see that this sketch is okay click ok and now we select this sketch again and go to this additive pipe tool and here we click object and we select this sketch okay so now you can see this so click ok okay now we have this part and the next step is to select this piece here and create a new sketch in this sketch what you want to do is to create the cylinder here this so here we have a diameter of 108 okay and the value of the pad is 10 so we come back to this model and first here we select this tool and extract the edge of this cylinder here and we select the cycle tool clicking this center point and draw this cycle here select this constraint diameter tool and change this dimension to 108 and now close this sketch go to pad tool okay here select this view here and click in this reverse option okay check this and click okay and now what you will do is to create walls in these faces in these two faces so first here we select this face and we create a new sketch okay in this sketch we'll create this wall here so the diameter of this wall is 125 so we select the cycle tool and we create we draw this cycle here and we click in this icon and we change this dimension to 125 and close this sketch now we go to this pocket tool here we set the type to trigger and click ok so now we have this wall here ok and the next step is to select this face and create a new sketch in this sketch we will create this wall here here we see a diameter of 8 ok so here we go to sketch geometries and we select this external geometry tool and we extract this edge here now select the cycle tool and create the cycle in this center point okay select this this constraint and here we set 8 now close this sketch go to pocket tool and here we can set okay 200 let's see okay it's okay and now click okay and now what we want to do the next step is to create the walls around these cylinders okay so first we'll select this face here and create a new sketch in this sketch we'll create this wall here 
so here we see that this the distance between the cycles is 192 okay and the diameter of these cycles is 16 so here we switch to section view and we select the cycle tool we draw this cycle in this vertical line and now select this constraint diameter and we change the diameter of the cycle to 16 okay and here we select this vertical distance tool we click in this origin point and now this center point and here we will set out this formula and now we get this dimension 96 close the sketch and go to pocket tool here we set to go and click ok and now what we'll do is to select this operation this less operation and go to polar pattern tool and here what we'll change is the number of occurrence to here we see six volts so here we set six and we see these walls here and now click ok so now we select this face here and we create a new sketch in this sketch we'll create these walls here so the diameter of these walls is is 14 and the center distance is 106 so here we select this cycle tool and we draw this cycle in this vertical line and now we select this icon to constrain the diameter of this cycle to 14 okay and here the vertical distance between this center this origin point to the center of this cycle will be will be 8 now close this sketch go to pocket tool and here we set a length of 12 and click OK and now we see this and now we go to this pocket operation and go to polar pattern here we change to 6 and click OK and now we select this face here and we create a new sketch go to sketch geometry and here select the external geometry tool and and here select extra this edge here okay and now we select the cycle tool click in this vertical line and draw this cycle so here in this drawing we see that the diameter of these cycles is 14 okay and and here we have this distance 126 so we come back to this model and here first we select this constraint diameter and we constrain this diameter to 14 and now select this vertical distance tool select this center point and this center point and here we'll set okay the distance is 63 millimeters and now we select this sketch and go to pocket tool here we set a length of 10 okay and you can see this pocket and now click ok select this less operation and go to polar pattern tool and here we change the number of occurrence to 6 okay and nothing is happening so here what we have to do is to go to this axis and here we select this option select the reference and here we select this edge and now we can see these pockets so click ok and okay guys it's all this model is finished so thank you for watching this video if you are not subscribed in this channel please subscribe okay